Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. And we got Aragon next, which don't usually look forward to Aragon, not a huge fan of it. And then we go to Mategi. What we need to do though is get a good result at Aragon and hope that our negotiation with our Moto2 contract goes through. Um, yeah, then we've only got four races left. If we can get some decent points at Aragon then we would have wrapped the title up because there is only, was it, 150 left? 25, 50, 75, 100. Yeah, 150 at the moment. We basically need six more points. It's all dry. It's all dry. That's all good. Let's go. Okay, so fourth quickest overall. It took me a lot of laps to actually do a lap because I kept either invalidating my time or crashing, so... Yeah, not that comfortable around here, but hopefully we'll be okay. Let's find out in qualifying. Okay, here we go. 58-8 for Mino. I'm not going to be able to beat that, I don't think. Didn't get anywhere near that in uh, free practice. Hasn't been the best of starts to this lap, to be fair. We're under at the moment, but I'm not going to celebrate just yet because, uh, yeah, be very surprised if we hold that time. Okay, okay, still under. Yes. Okay, we try again, we just invalidated. Our time would have been pole though. So we try again. Try again. I hope that we don't get held up or anything. I don't think we will. Diego Moreira is usually pretty fast. Might be able to use him for a slipstream if uh, we play this right. I think we will be able to use a bit of Marrera for uh, slipstream. Or not. As we slide up the inside of him. I'm not expecting him to break that early, that's annoying. Don't try and retake me. Ah. That's us done. Gonna be starting way down. Just won't validate our time. No, don't want us to. D 
doesn't want to invalidate my time when I want it to. So we're going to be starting down in like 18th place. We are down. Down, down, down. 18th place. Not good. Minyo. On pole. Let's race. Right, let's see what we can do from all the way back in 18th place. Not expecting a lot, but if we can get six points, we'll wrap up the championship. I really do hate Aragon. It is a horrible circuit. Right, let's go. Okay. Oh, we're up the set. Just behind Bartolini at the moment. Stay with them. Stay with them. Oh. I messed that up for both of us then. I don't want the front group to pull away. Oh. That was bad. Nearly got smashed then. Don't like having these two this close behind me. Yeah, I don't like having these guys this close behind me at the moment. Oh, someone's just crashed. Trouble is where everyone's slipstreaming everyone. We're not getting much of a slipstream. Whoops. It's 
So Guevara is through. We've got Bartolini just behind still. So I go too hot into that. I definitely haven't got the pace for the podium here. Oh, someone went down then. He's trying to join or rejoin the track in a safe place, but that's easier said than done around here. Go away, McPhee. This is my slipstream. Still got two more bloody laps. Fernandez might have crashed then because uh, he had a massive wobble. Do you mind? It's going from bad to worse at the moment. Free up the inside of Fernandez. Somehow got it to work. Get off! If you let me actually take my line through here rather than ramming me, I might actually be able to make some progress. Oh, for God's sake, McPhee, what a stupid thing to do. Just go on the inside curb and then push me off track. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, that's me done. It's all gone pear shape. This is why I hate Aragon. Well, mainly because it's a, the track layout I don't like. I'm going to be scoring no points there. Can't seem to get the bike stopped and turned in where I want it to. Oh, well, Marrera deserved that because he messed up my qualifying. So 
I just can't get the bike stopped and... Oh my god. This is the worst the bike has felt all season. Just can't get it in. We're going to have a time penalty as well, so we're probably going to be finishing pretty dead last. Crap. Absolute crap. Hated that. But it's given me the championship. Why is that? Can't even remember who was in second, to be fair. 139 RT gas. So yeah, we have won the championship despite not picking up any points whatsoever. Okay. Fair enough. That's something, I guess, but not exactly how I want to win a championship by not finishing in the points. Okay, so no pop Fermi or anything or any points or anything. So, yeah, not good. That's not going to do our reputation any good, is it? For Moto2. What's happening? We're nearly there. We're nearly there. I think we'll be okay. We've got a new frame upgrade, which we probably could have done with that at uh, Aragon. Is that all staff, or can we do... Yeah, we can go that. Okay, Mategi's next. This is probably going to be more of the same. Probably going to be more of the same, because there's loads of straights. Let's go. Okay, we finished quickest overall this time, but again, I've had uh, quite a lot of crashes, so... Yeah, we're going to have to go careful. Josh Watley in third place. So, see how we go and qualify him. Right, here we go then. I'm going out straight away. I want to put a banker in just in case. I don't want to have the same issue as Aragon. See what we can do. Got soft front and rear in. Thirty one one in the first sector. Right up the hill we go. This place used to be cursed for me. I think we broke it on my GP21. So it'd be interesting to see how we go around here on my GP22. Wow. Messed that up. Rear came up. That's going to be a good time. 56.8. So, we're on pole by 0 0.9 of a second. Rest of them in the 57s. I mean, of course, the championship is already wrapped up, but let's see if we can get another win or a podium or something. Right, race time. Let's do this. Medium front, medium rear. Even though technically the softs should last. No one else on the front two rows have gone for a soft tyre, so maybe we made the right decision not going with it. Here we go.
I'm expecting a hard fight around here, just like Aragon, because there are so many straights. That's where we were, struggling a bit at Aragon. Well, we're kind of struggling everywhere at Aragon. Saying that, we've already got the gap up to a second. Someone's gone down. We are just pulling away, aren't we? How can they go from being blisteringly quick at Aragon to very slow? And Matega, we've nearly got two seconds. We haven't even done a lap yet. This is the annoying thing about the AI on this game at the moment. They're so inconsistent. They're either really slow or really fast. Sometimes you get an in-between race, and when you do, they're brilliant. Lost loads of time in that final sector, mind. Loads of time. Maybe it's just that first lap they were really slow. We'll see what happens on this lap. 1.1. So it's Toba in second. Coming through that double right, double left hander there, um, don't seem to be very quick. Seven, so we are pulling away again. They're definitely better than me in the last couple of corners. So, yeah, it's come down a little bit again. Didn't lose as much time that time. Oh. All right. Lost loads of time that time though because I went way off track. Let's see if we can open it back up. Didn't open up a huge amount there. Suzuki's just gone down. So 
but it is still Kaito Toba in second place. Gap has gone back up. It's not over a second though. Oh, turned in a bit too tight then. Close back in. We've got power mapping three to use though, which is fine. Tobra has the fastest lap of the race at the moment. Come on. Good through that. Okay, this race is not over. I'm right, going to have to use power map in three now. My rear tyre is getting quite hot. There, one lap to go and they're on me. This isn't going to be an easy race. Just keep going. Go, 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 go. Fodge is up to second now. I think we're going to be okay. We are going to win just. We won. That, that one wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. I know I didn't help myself by running off track and then coming back on. We had the fastest lap on the final lap. 56-8. There we go. Another win, though. That will hopefully...
help us with our Moto 2 contract. Fodger back up to second. Okay. Finally, back in Park Fur, mate. We can forget about Aragon. Somehow, we still managed to win the title at Aragon, apart from, uh, you know, despite the fact we didn't score any points whatsoever. Oh, well. Here's what it is. We bounce back at Mategi. Okay. Proposals. Are oh, still not there. Still not there. That's annoying. We're so close. Right. Well, got four races to go. Got Bury Ramp, Phillip Island, Sepang, and Valencia. And then we're done. Right, let's look at the standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. We've already wrapped up the title now from Foggia, who's back up to second place. Our T-Gas down to third. Kaito Toba is in fourth, and Andrea Migno in fifth. Moto2, it is Aaron Cannett who leads away from Tony Arbolino in second place. Sam Lowe's is third, uh, Augusto Fernandez fourth, and then you've got Jorge Navarro in fifth. MotoGP, it is Fabio Quattararo who's now leading from Bang Yaya in second place, Mark Marquez in third, Joanne Mir fourth, and Jorge Martin in fifth. Anyway guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!